Well, have you been stargazing lately? I know I have. You may have noticed a mysterious constellation moving across the night sky. Today's Lara Vela investigates why those bright lights could revolutionise the internet for Outbreak Australia and have astronomers very worried about the future of stargazing. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Or is it something out of this world? This strange shuffling train of light has been spotted by people right across the globe. Even our own Tim Davies has caught a glimpse. I'm not really a believer in aliens, but after seeing this, I started to think maybe there is something out there and this, well, this is my close encounter. Here's the good news. We're not being invaded by aliens, but those mysterious lights in the sky are still pretty exciting and have huge implications for the future of the internet. So what are they? They're Elon Musk's Starlink satellites. Three, two, one. Zero. So far, 550 Starlink satellites have been launched into orbit, with approval for a further 12,000 and aspirations for another 30,000 on top of that. Effectively creating a nest of satellites around the Earth, aimed at providing reliable, fast and affordable internet from Timbuktu to Tamworth. They're launching one new cluster of them every month, 60 at a time. They send them up in this rocket and they're all stuck in canisters on the side and they just release them all at once and then they slowly spread out into their orbits. It's vastly different to current satellite internet. If you imagine right now, the NBN satellite is 35,000 kilometres in the air. The Starlink system will be about 500 kilometres in the air, so it's going to be faster, there's going to be many, many more of them, and that means that more people can access at faster speeds. Australians in the most remote and rural areas will benefit from this. They're, they're currently access to just one option, which is NBN satellite. This could offer them twice the speed, maybe more, and potentially at the same or less cost. Nick, how many satellite dishes do you have here? Ever wondered who actually drives a satellite? The answer is right here at the Optus Satellite Earth Station in Sydney. We've got a team of specialist engineers that basically fly these things in the sky and they fly in a 70 kilometre box. So they, they fly them in a figure of eight sort of pattern and, uh, and when they get to the end of the figure of eight they fire thrusters on the end of the satellite. So a bit of fuel just fires out thrusters and it moves it back into that, that pattern to hold it within that box. So you wouldn't want to get that wrong? No, you definitely can't. In the not too distant future, there will be thousands of satellites whizzing across the sky but that's now creating a constellation of conundrums for stargazers. I've seen calculations that indicate that at any one time they'll have, there'll be 500 satellites in view of a, a, any particular telescope uh, trying to do its, um, its, its, its work in the night sky. So it potentially has a very, very serious effect. Astronomers have been talking with Elon Musk and with SpaceX and, and to give SpaceX credit, they are trying to do whatever they can, it seems, by having darker coatings on the outside of the spacecraft and perhaps tilting them in a different direction. Even they're, they're testing one now with a sunshade on part of it to stop the reflectivity. So why is Elon Musk doing this? Elon Musk wants to go to Mars and he wants to build an enormous rocket that will get people to Mars, lots of people. But to do that needs billions of dollars. And so with this Starlink project, um, he stands to make tens of billions of dollars by selling this low cost internet service. And he's going to use that, he says, to fund his trips to Mars. And with so many satellites, could Elon Musk become the real Dr. Evil? Oh hell, let's just do what we always do, hijack some nuclear weapons and hold the world hostage. We need to keep him on our good side and we need to keep our eye on him. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I just got scared all of a sudden. Elon <laughs> <laughs> Musk. Oh, ominous warning there from Trevor Long. <laughs> oh, well done.